After Yogurt Beach was welcomed to town by the Chamber of Commerce and local business and government leaders, owner Chris Cooney talked to HCAM News about opening up in downtown Hopkinton. We've been residents for 22 years here, so we're very familiar with the area and the community and the families and kids. And um, we were introduced to this concept uh, a couple years ago. We opened one, uh, myself and my partners, down in Plainville, down 495. And we just thought it would be a really cool fit for Hopkinton. Uh, it's been very well received. The people of Hopkinton have been awesome. Um, we're, we're very excited about it, and we really appreciate all the support that we've been getting. My family loves ice cream. We always shoot out as a family and used to go to Yeoman's or DQ or somewhere in the area. And uh, we just thought it would be a really cool idea to have something downtown for the Hopkinton people as well as Ashland and Holliston and Southboro and kind of some of the people on the outskirts we could, we could draw in. They wouldn't have to drive as far and it's just so much easier. Uh, and it's just the convenience of it's really cool as well. Chris said he is thrilled at the reception his frozen yogurt shop has received so far. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's actually been, again, it's been so well received. It's, it's, I'll give you an example. The second day we were open was Friday, which was the last day of school, and kids got out early. And I think on that day, for six or seven hours straight, we were constantly pumping in product into the machines, and people were going sideways trying to get up to the cashier to pay. And, so it's, it's, again, it's been well received and it's just been crazy, but, you know, crazy is a good thing. So we're, we're very happy about it. Chris was also very happy about how easy it has been to work with the town. I felt that was important to let everybody know that. And I also uh, wrote an open letter to Norm and the town manager to let him know that. And I can tell you that, you know, walking into this, I didn't really know what to expect because we hadn't opened a retail shop or anything like that here in Hopkinton, but... You know, from the DPW Water Department, Planning Department, Board of Health, uh, Building Department, uh, and everybody in between, they have been awesome. They've helped us with any problems we might have had. We've had a couple of obstacles we had to get over, and as opposed to them pushing it off, saying, hey, Chris, it's your problem, good luck. They've offered suggestions and really held our hand and, and guided us along the way. And I don't think a lot of people realize that there's a lot of positive going on and we should be proud that we have groups like this within Hopkinton that are passionate enough to actually want to do the right thing and do good things for the town. And that was really refreshing for me. And I, I thought everybody should know that in the ceremony we had earlier and I'm very happy that you asked me that question as well.